Hello, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and you're watching the handset and gaming review of Vami Neo. This is an octa-core powered handset from Wicked Leak, available for a price of just Rs. 11,990. It houses the 1.7 GHz octa-core processor with 2GB RAM, running Android 4.2 with 13MP rear focus camera and a 5MP front camera. The battery is 2200mAh. Internal storage space is 8GB and microSD card is also supported. This handset is available with and without Equa Protect technology. You will need to spend Rs 1500 extra for the Equa Protect version. Inside the box you will find this handset, the Vami Neo, flip cover with S window, it is of a good quality. This is the S view window, on the box it's mentioned 2200mAh but the battery here is 2800mAh. Data cable, travel charger, earphone with earplug cap. This is the call button and the mic and a closer view of the earplug. And the final content is the user manual. Here is the handset, the Vami Neo. With key specification mentioned on the factory film, I'm going to remove this film. This is how the handset looks. There is already a company fitted screen guard, you can see this here. Here is the side view and the rear side. On the rear there is this Wicked Leak logo and uh, powered by Equa Protect. This is optional. It's plastic white color with matte finish. The handset looks pretty slim, build quality is good and it's more curvier on the edges. The three touch sensitive buttons. At the bottom you will find the micro USB port and the mic. Volume rockers are placed on the left side, power button on the right and 3.5mm audio jack on the top. On the front you will find the in-call speaker, the sensors and the front camera. The back cover is made up of plastic, it's quite flexible. This is a dual sim handset, you can see the sim slots, it's overlapping sim slot, you need a micro sim and a normal sim and there is also the micro SD card slot. Neo weight with battery is 144 grams, it is 8.56 mm thick, breadth is 71.52 mm and the length is 144.50 mm. Let's power on, here is the home screen, the touch is smooth and responsive. Here is the quick settings option, the backlit buttons, they do not light up as you can see. Gesture controls are supported, there is also the flash alert that makes use of the camera LED flash. Wi-Fi Direct is supported, Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth dithering is also supported. You can see the wireless display option and the G sensor calibration along with the S cover settings option. There is built in GPS. You can also set the notification LED color. Hindi language is supported. You can set the preferred install location, I am going to set it to the external card. The internal storage space is 1.97 GB. Phone storage is 4.28 GB. This is the space for apps, 1.9 GB free. And of the 2 GB RAM, you get around 1.4 GB free. The OGS screen is 5 inches with 720p resolution. Viewing angle looks good. Though the screen is not clearly visible from some angles. Here is the phone dialer with uh, video call option. OTG is supported. I have connected an external pen drive and I can access the contents of the pen drive. This is how the handset looks with the flip cover. This is the magnetic flip cover. When I open up, the handset will switch on. And uh, this is the S view window. You can view notifications and also control some of the applications. Here is the LED light that blinks when you get a notification. You can also change the color of the LED. System information Cortex A7 1.6 GHz Octa Core 8 cores with Mali 450MP GPU. The hardware is MT6592 running Android 4.2.2 with screen resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. And here are the sensors accelerometer, proximity light, orientation, and magnetic sensor. The magnetic sensors 
they do work as you can see here. The time is 9.54, battery at 60% and the temperature at 35 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 16510 and Tutu score is 25446. Vilamo Metal 688, Multicore 1541, Browser 2440, Nina Mark 2 59.2 FPS and this handset supports 5 point multi touch. Here is the camera interface, it's an autofocus camera and here are the different settings option normal live photo mode this is the normal mode beauty shot panorama here are the settings option in camera settings you have a voice capture face detection smile shot HDR picture size is 13 megapixel and in video mode I'm going to set the video quality to fine. This should record in 1080p resolution. The front camera, you can set it to a maximum of 5 megapixel resolution. I'm recording a video. This video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. After 29 minutes, the battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 38 degrees. Let's play some games, Modern Combat 4. This game got installed on the external storage. The gameplay is very smooth. And now let's check out the Asphalt 8. It also got installed on the external storage. I'm going to set it to the highest visual quality. The game is playable but it's not very smooth. You can feel it lagging at times. I'm going to reduce the visual quality to medium. And this looks better. After 16 minutes, the battery dropped by 9% and the temperature is 40 degrees. I have switched on the Wi-Fi and set the brightness to the maximum. And now I am going to play a video that I shot using the same handset in a loop. I played this video for about 25 minutes. The battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 39 degrees. The Vami Neo is the cheapest octa-core available in India for a price tag of Rs 11,990. This dual SIM handset is powered by a 1.7 GHz MediaTek octa-core processor with 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. Once you insert the battery, the back cover doesn't really fit properly. You can see some gaps here. There is a gap here too. Okay, it's gone in. The gaps are easily visible on the white handset but on the black handset it will not be easily visible. Though the handset runs on the Android 4.2 which is pretty much outdated, it comes with 2GB RAM, 8GB storage and with octa-core processor. You also get a free flip cover with S-View window. The Vami Neo from Wicked Leak is available for a price tag of 11,990. For full review sample images and videos visit my website Kogi.in.